I promoted wrestling shows back in the day, like professional wrestling. Oh, no. I promoted those back in the day. Like, Wait, like scripted like high school gym, like no, no kind of shit. shit. <laughs> scripted wrestling, like professional wrestling. Well, yeah, but I didn't we mean high school gym like high school. I meant like when they rent out like no. Well, we rented out a can. National Guard armory, is what we we rented yep. the National Guard That's... armory in Milton, Florida. I wasn't gonna be a personality. I was trying to be behind <laughs> the scenes. Okay, so as we start developing the storylines and everything's gonna happen, they're like, "Why don't you get involved?" I'm like. Me? I don't want to fucking be involved. And they're like, oh, yeah, you'd be great. You'd be a great heel. I'm like, really? And they're like, yeah. So then we're talking with some of the other wrestlers like, Jeremy, you'd be a fantastic heel. And I'm like, you still want me to pull like a Mr. McMahon? And they're like, yeah. I was like, God, I don't know. I've never done anything like this. And so then uh, the wheels start turning. And so I start thinking about it. I was like, all right, you know what? I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll be Commissioner Jeremy Cash because that's <laughs> why I have money. Jeremy Cash. I got all the money. This is a long time ago. I was talking to my girlfriend and I was like, I need you to dress up like a slut and walk out to the ring with me and she's like what <laughs> just listen to me just go with it okay i was like the point is is i'm gonna play the asshole that has Jeremy a lot Cash. of money i'm the commissioner and i need you to bring heat to my character by being like this innocent woman that's dressed as a slut that i am making dressed as a slut you're the innocent one you're not trying to be out there just but i'm forcing you to be out there like this that's the character so that i'll get heat from the audience so the whole thing builds up where the two guys i was friends with they have tag team champions Championship belts. So they lead the show off. They open the show. Audience is out there. They're loving it. It's great to be back here in Florida. So then I decided that my music, when I hit, because music hitting is important and it's True. meant to set a tone in wrestling. My music was Last Resort by Papa Roach. <laughs> Cut my <laughs> life into pieces. <laughs> music hits. They're doing their promo. My music hits. These people hear Papa Roach and all of a sudden everybody's like, oh, like they're wondering who's going to walk out there. And my skinny ass walks out there. And they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, we got in the ring. Now, before the match started, the ring announcer, honestly, like he came up to me. He's like, genuinely, he wanted to propose to his girlfriend in the middle of the ring before the fucking thing started. Like, genuinely, not part of the show. So I was like, all right, cool. Before it started, I said, hey, can I use that in my promo? He goes, oh, yeah, man, do whatever you want. I'm like, you sure? He goes, yeah, yeah, cool, man. So I get in the ring. People are booing. I don't know if they're laughing at me. It's what they are. Like, all these wrestlers and shit, they're laughing at me. And I'm like, who the fuck is this skinny ass loser? And why is he in a wrestling ring? And I'm like in the ring with a microphone. And I was like, before I get started with all you hillbilly rednecks here in Milton, Florida, let me talk to you right now. Before you propose to some $2 whore, you need to make sure that I wasn't with her last night. And at that point, the heat starts coming. They're like, boo, fuck you. They're booing me. And I took a line from Bret Hart. All of you people in Milton, this place no. makes me sick. You make the state of Florida sick. If you were going to give an enema to the state of Florida, you'd put the hose right here in Chipley. <laughs> Holy shit, nope. they were mad. And then and eventually I got power bombed uh, by the guys. They came out there, they power bombed me. My job was to bring heat, get people excited. Boom. So before I go back out, two of the wrestlers come back there. They said, Jeremy, you can't go out there. I'm like, why? <laughs> and like, they're fucking mad, bro. Like, they're fucking mad. You fucking called them hillbillies you. and rednecks. You said their fucking place was the asshole of the state of Florida. They're mad. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so after the show's over, we're taking down the ring. Me and the wrestlers that I was cutting storylines with, this fucking dude walks up to me. He had to be six foot six. I'm not sure if both of his eyes were crossed or at least one of them and he comes up to me he goes hey motherfucker my daddy grew up in Chipley. I'm going to beat your fucking ass. And the fucking wrestlers had to get in between this man. Yeah. Like, it was crazy. <laughs> so we did a few of those. So that was a long version of me telling my wrestling story. People who go to watch wrestling matches at National Guard armories <laughs> are the people who do think it's real. <laughs> yes, 100%. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs>